Hi, so in this video, I want to walk you through the process of how you get from the uh, transfer function of a digital filter to the filter coefficients. So here we have a, a transfer function and um, it's expressed in, in Z. Um, we can see from this equation that the there are some roots of these um, polynomials. So here we have, we could say that we have a um, pole at a half and we also have a pole at minus three quarters because of these two. This is when, if I make um, z a half, this with this expression will evaluate to zero. If I make z uh, minus three quarters, then this expression will evaluate to zero. And at the top, we can say we have a zero at minus one. So we can we can say that by by inspection. But how do we get from here to the filter coefficients, and therefore you know it would enable us to realize that in a uh, difference equation. So what we want to do is work through this equation. I've not changed the top yet. I'm just going to multiply out. Uh, so all I've done is is multiplied through these these terms. And it with the uh, end up with this bottom equation, and then what we want to do is divide top and bottom by the largest power of, of z that we've got. So um, in this case, um, we want to essentially multiply by z to the minus two, both on top and bottom. And the, the two is represented, you know, it comes from the fact that we've got two um, above this z. So if we do that, then we will end up with z to minus one because z to the one minus two is minus one plus z to the minus two. This will become one plus quarter z, oops, quarter z to the minus one, and then minus three at z minus two. Okay, so um, now what we have is, is an expression um, in terms of z, but raised to the negative indices, and these would uh, represent the delays in our um, difference equation. So if you if you remember h z is equal to y z over x of z. So if we just kind of work through this some more um, we will end up with <clears throat> so this will go across here all these are the y terms here all these are the x of z terms here, so we bring x of z up, y of z over there, and we will end up with yz equals, and if we take the x's up here and we evaluate across, because these are the uh, feedback terms, we will end up with x, z, z minus 1, of this term added to x of z z minus 2 because of this term and then this positive because it will come over the other side of the expression becomes a negative we end up with a quarter yz z minus 1 and this becomes a positive plus 3 eighths yz z minus 2. 
And there we have it. We can uh, evaluate uh, z, but if we do z by substitution to e to the j omega, we can evaluate this expression directly to come up with a phase and a magnitude response. But we can also obtain the filter coefficients by inspection of this form, because we've got the feed forward terms here and we've got the feedback terms here. So if we were to program this in MATLAB, for example, the matrices would be, we've got zero for the uh, first uh, X of N term, the X of Z. And this coefficient is one. And then we have a, a coefficient one there. And on the bottom, we have um, for the Y of N term, this is one. The Y of N minus one term, we have that as a quarter. And the y of n minus two term, we would program in as minus three eighths. So what I've done here is I've expressed the, our original uh, transfer function. So we had z plus one divided by z minus a half, uh, multiplied by z plus three quarters. Um, the coefficients we derived as zero, one, one, and one. 0.25 minus 0.375, which is the minus 3 eighths. So what I'm doing is I'm using Z plane to plot the uh, pole zeros, and I'm gonna look at the frequency response of our filter using uh, freak Z. And there we can see, uh, this is the pole zero plot. We have a pole minus 0.75, and a pole at 0.5 and we have some zeros at minus one and of course the final piece of the jigsaw now we have uh, this expression is to find the difference equation and this is simply done through uh, realization of the inverse uh, z transform so if we transform these um, these expressions we will end up with y of n equals this is the uh, x of n minus one term added to and this is uh, the z minus two term so this will be x of n minus two Minus, and then we have the quarter, and this is the or this is the y of z term. So this is, and it's minus one. So this is y of n minus one previous output added to, and then we have the three eighths again. Y of n minus two, and we can realize that. So we'll need two storages. X if we do a uh, direct uh, implementation and two storages for Y.